Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanelungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanelungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day so if there is something in particular that you guys want us to do drop us a link in the comment section below and we'll do it for you you can check out our um our second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 head there subscribe and enjoy our weekly content we've got a podcast called diving in with funny and jesse and we've got some amazing conversations which you guys can find on itunes spotify podbean this channel or our second youtube channel for the visual and we've got a patreon you guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far thank you for subscribing liking commenting sharing and everything that you guys are doing we're very very grateful so i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed so today i'm going to be reacting to what one of you suggested um so today we're going to be reacting to czech muslim i don't know what it's about but excited to be reacting so without wasting time let's get into the video هي العالمية طبعا أيضا البشارات تتوالى ومن كثرتها نسيتها فذكروني ببشارة هي إشهار إسلام لأحد المشاركين يتفضل الأخ الكريم نرجو الهدوء قليلا نرجو الهدوء قليلا يتفضل يأتي إلى هنا يأتي إلى استريح بارك الله فيك الآن يأتي إلى جزاك الله خير على جهودك وحماستك كذلك يتفضل هنا لكي يشهر اسلامه امامكم السلام عليكم brothers and sisters i uh, want to just briefly tell you i'm sometimes asked how come you're a muslim and I tell them, well, God showed me that I'm a Muslim. For the first 35 years of my life, I was a disbeliever. I knew there is no God, I didn't see any need for God, and I didn't believe in God. Assalamu alaikum, bada bi tahiyat al-Islam. وبدأ يصمد قصته في أتناقل الإسلام لقد مر عليه 35 عاما من حياته لم يكن مسلما ولم يكن مؤمنا بالمرة But ever since I was small I was interested in science and as my knowledge of science grew 25 years ago in basically a flash I came to the conclusion that the universe is so perfectly made and everything so perfectly matches together that there must be God. So in one second I went from certainty there is no God to certainty there must be God and only one God. يقول أنه كان مهتما دائما بالعلم وكان يرى إحسان الصنع في هذا العالم وكيف يسير وكان يقول لنفسه لابد أن هناك إلها يحكم تسير هذا العالم من اهتمامه بالعلم. So I accepted there is God. I said أشهد ولا إله إلا الله. وبذلك أدرك أن هناك إلها وشهد الشهادة. 
But I was not looking for a religion. I thought all religions are wrong. Christians say this is one. The Jews said, Jews are chosen people, and if you're not Jew, you're not, not, not chosen. And about Islam, I only had negative information. هو آمن بالله ولكنه كان يرى أن ليس هناك من دين صحيح حتى ذلك الوقت فالمسيحية تقول هؤلاء الثلاثة واحد واليهود يقولون هم شعب الله المختار ولكنه أدرك أن هناك إلا أن هناك إلها ولكنه لم يكن يعرف شيئا عن الإسلام حتى ذلك الوقت. But I didn't want to stay ignorant about religions so I said okay I, I read Bible and I saw in the Bible there are places which you know come from God. You feel it in your heart. But you see there are places which come from man. Because this page says something that is opposite to the uh, thing that was said a few pages ago. So I knew that Bible was written by man many years after the prophets. قرر أن يتعلم عن الأديان وبدأ بقراءة الإنجيل ولكنه وجد في الإنجيل شيئا يلامس قلبه فأدرك أن هذا من عند الله من كلام الله صحيح وصفحة الأخرى من الإنجيل تناقض ما قالته الصفحة الأولى فأدرك أن هناك الكثير من الكتابات كتبت بعد سنوات وأعوام طوال من الرسل. And I bought a Quran, English translation of the Quran, and when I started reading it, I started reading it with the same idea that just like Bible, it was written by man. Only in this case, we know the name of the man, Muhammad. ولكنه بدا يقرا القران وكان ظانا انه يقرا كما قرا الانجيل او الاناجيل من قبل ظانا منه انه سيجد به بعض الاجزاء من عند الله وبعضها الاخر كتبها انسان ما عرف اسمه محمد. And then when I was maybe about one third in Quran I remember telling my wife you know this Muhammad he must have been a very smart very intelligent man because this book is very clear very logical, very easy to follow, and there are no contradictions. But then as I read later, I suddenly saw a scientific fact which I knew was only discovered in the 20th century. So immediately I saw that Muhammad is not the author of the Quran. That Muhammad is a messenger sent by God to give the Quran to mankind. So, وهنا أدرك أن محمد ليس هو كاتب هذا النص ولكنه رسول أرسله له بهذا الكتاب للناس. So I saw, mashallah, Muhammad is Rasulullah. قال أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله محمد رسول الله. So I said, mashallah, I'm a Muslim. ثم قال mashallah, أنا مسلم. أصبح مسلما بتلاوته للشهادة. And and people ask me, well, how did you react? You said you heard bad things about Muslims, you didn't know anything about Islam. How did you react? Did you want to be Muslim? And I said, I had no choice. Because when I was born, I was a baby. I didn't know I'm different from my mother. Then a little bit later I knew my mother is somebody else and when she's gone I cry because I was afraid she's gone. But I still didn't know what I am. And then one day I suddenly start, Mashallah I'm a boy. And nobody asked me, what, what did you do? Did you want to be a boy? No, because we know we don't have a choice. God makes us this. So, mashallah, when that was the greatest blessing on my wife. 
uh, of my life. I have wonderful family, I have wonderful children, wife, everything, but the greatest blessing was that God showed me his guidance. And when I pray, I make dua, God, please let me die as a believer. Let me never disbelieve again. لم يكن له خيار الا ان يكون مسلما فكما قال انه ولد طفلا ونما وكبر وادرك انه ولد ولم يكن له في ذلك خيار ولكنه وجد ان لا خيار له سوى الاسلام وبذلك اصبح مسلما وهو دائما يصلي ويدعو يدعو الله الا يتركه يموت على مله غير الاسلام بعد ان اكتب اليها and a little while ago, I heard somebody here who was concerned that maybe the signs that are discovered in the Quran may be wrong. Uh, we should have a committee to see if the signs are right. God says in the Quran, we demonstrate our miracles to those who attain certainty. يقول سمع من يقول انه ربما الايات العلميه او ما يكتشف من علوم استنادا الى القران قد تاتي الايام باختلافها او يثبت خلافها فيما بعد ولكنه يقول ان هناك ايه في القران ومعنى ما قاله معذره لا احفظ القران كاملا ولكنه يقول ان ايات الله موجوده هذا المعنى عفوا ايات الله موجوده لمن يريد ان يتحقق فالكتاب به كل شيء. So my my answer is ما فرقنا في الكتاب من شيء شكرا. So so my answer is when you have strong iman and you have knowledge of the scientific facts, when you see it in the Quran, you don't have to worry is it right or is it wrong. It will jump out at you, it will hit you, and you will say, Mashallah, this is a sign from God, and you want to make such da because you feel very humble. Because you know this is the truth. There is no false signs, no wrong signs, because this book is from God and He doesn't make any mistakes. When we get to know the real truth and find it in the Quran, it might be scary for us, and it might be scary for you. When you see it, you can see that this thing that is present in the Quran is not possible to come to what is called the knowledge of the Quran, the knowledge of the Quran. In closing, I would like to thank the organizers for making this conference possible. I think conferences like this are extremely useful. But I would like to appeal to the organizers that they do not make these conferences only in the Middle East. I think conferences like this should be made in London, in Frankfurt, in Paris. يهيب بمنظمي هذه المؤتمرات الا يعقدوها في بلداننا في البلدان العربيه ولكنها لابد ان توقف في بلدان اخرى في لندن في فرانكفورت في باريس وغيرها من البلاد هذه الاماكن التي نتوجه الى اهلها بهذه الرساله. I would like to thank you for your attention. شكرا جزيلا and سلام عليكم. شكرا على اهتمامكم والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله. I am Desert Mohiwan, Tunisian in Arabic name, Abdul Rahman. This is what we are. So if you want to change your name, that's uh, Actually, my name, Alan, is already an Islamic name because in Arabic it means Alan. Alan? What's your name? I call Alan. This gentleman wanted to oh. change my name. I told him. I don't need it. Abdurrahman is a wonderful name, but my name, I am Czech originally. My name is Mulan, and in Arabic it means something like Habibi and Akram. يقول ربا على الأخ الذي أراد له أن يغير اسمه ليكون عبد الرحمن يقول اسمه ميلان وهو أصلا من شكيزوفاكيا وفي لغة الشيك كلمة ميلان تعني أكرم أو حبيبي.
كما قال فهو اسمه اسم ربنا اسلامي ايضا نشكر ميلان او حبيب او اكرم او ان اردت عبد الرحمن حتى لا نرضي الجميع فنحن سعيدين جدا في هذه الليلة الجميلة من ليالي الخير بان بشرنا بوقفية وبشرنا كذلك بقناة فضائية وكذلك بشرنا بمركز خاص للابحاث بتعاون بين وزارة الأوقاف الكويتية والهيئة العالمية للإجاز العلمي في القرآن والسنة ولكن هل تسمح لي دكتور عادل الفلاح أن أقترح اقتراح أتاني منذ لحظات بالمخيلة والخيال أقترح أن هذه القناة تسمى إعجاز فالأمر لكم وإن كن أردتم ذلك فهو اقتراح لحظي very amazing video um i mean i'm always happy to see people convert and whatnot i'm always happy for them really really happy i wanted to ask is it a must that if you convert you have to change your name or what's with people changing their names actually i've seen people change their name there is one person that converted they changed their name not that they really changed anything i think it was david to doubt I'm not even sure. There's a question that I had when watching this. I remember once uh, Dr. Zaki was being asked a question by an atheist. I don't, I don't remember what the video was all about, but I remember Dr. Zaki Naik saying he admired atheists because those ones were not bound by any sort of bias in them because they didn't follow any particular religion. So they're more likely to be open-minded to listen to what other what these other religions have to say before they make that decision decision to actually follow one of them if at all it comes to that point which is something amazing it doesn't matter what religion you follow i think you should be able to be able to listen to someone else that has that believes in something different from you and exchange ideas you find yourselves uh, knowing more and learning more as life progresses otherwise this was an interesting video a big shout out to the person that suggested this if there's something like this that you guys want us to react to let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below and we'll do it for you i'll see you in the next reaction video